Hello and welcome to Council Recap, where we take the content of the City Council meetings and give you the breakdown. I'm Kayla Moeller. There were a few presentations this week. First, Jesse Henderson, the Director of Admissions of the Los Angeles Hospitality Education Center, gave a presentation on the center and their youth education program that's operating out of SoFi Stadium. It is a short-term skill-based program offering training in culinary arts, food and beverage service, and bartending. The program has scholarship and job placement opportunities, including the option to be hired at SoFi Stadium upon completion of the training. Then Joshua Heinzman, the program supervisor of the Los Angeles Centers for Alcohol and Drug Abuse, gave a presentation on their supplement services. He gave an overview of who they are and the programs available for people experiencing homelessness. He went over what a typical outreach day looks like and what a Hawthorne approach would look like and potential program outcomes. Next, we heard from the city's interim planning director, Greg McLean, with a code enforcement update. He went over staffing, 2022 statistics, weekend enforcement, and priorities for fiscal year 2022 to 2023. In the resolution portion of the meeting, resolution 8347 was passed to give notice of a general municipal election scheduled for Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. This election will be consolidated to also include the governing school board election. Then resolution 8348 was adopted to proclaim April as Sexual Assault Awareness Month and declare Wednesday, April 27th, 2022 as Denim Day in Hawthorne. Denim Day is the annual sexual assault awareness event that works to start conversation about the destructive attitudes surrounding sexual assault, like victim blaming. Next, Resolution 8349 was passed to re-ratify the proclamation of a state of emergency by Governor Newsom and reauthorize remote teleconference meetings for the City Council, Commissions, and Committees in Hawthorne for another 30-day period beginning April 12, 2022 and ending May 12, 2022. Resolution 8350 was passed to approve the budget allocations for specified elected officials for the 2021 to 2022 and 2022 to 2023 fiscal years. The budget allocations to each member of the City Council will remain at $1,000 for each fiscal year. In the public hearing portion, Council conducted a public hearing for the Housing Authority Housing Choice Voucher Program 2022 to 2023 annual plan. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development requires non-qualified public housing agencies to submit an annual plan each year 75 days before the beginning of the fiscal year. Hawthorne's housing agency's mission is to provide safe, decent, and sanitary housing conditions for very low-income families and manage resources efficiently. There were no public comments submitted to the housing department. The city manager's consent calendar had a few items this week. First, Council approved a blanket purchase order to Red Flex Traffic Systems, Inc. for the city's red light camera enforcement program for the fiscal year 2021 to 2022. Next, Council received a staff report regarding the reopening of City Hall and the Council Chambers to the public. The plan as of now is to reopen City Hall Monday, May 9th and return to in-person City Council meetings Tuesday, May 10th. Then, Council approved a memorandum of understanding with the American Heart Association, Inc and authorize the city manager to execute it. The American Heart Association has been delivering six pallets of produce every other Friday, and the director has asked the city to sign an MOU for the continued produce donations. Council awarded a contract to Martinez Landscape Company, Inc. for the General Maintenance Services Project. This project includes maintenance of common areas and involves the city's weed abatement program, bulky item program, landscape, and minor construction like asphalt replacement. Also incorporated into the project is the Bridge of Hope Community Housing Project. Work for this includes installation of pellet shelter, utility connections, and minor landscaping needs of the housing area. Then Council approved a purchase order to Richards, Watson, and Gershon Law for legal services. The RWG Law Firm is providing legal services to the city for ongoing legal matters related to the Hawthorne Municipal Airport. Then Council received and filed the City of Hawthorne Housing Successor Agency Report for the fiscal year 2020 to 2021. Each housing successor agency is required to prepare an annual report documenting its assets, revenues, expenditures, and how it's meeting the requirements imposed by the Health and Safety Code. In the City Attorney's Consent Calendar, Council approved a blanket purchase order for a contract prosecutor. 
A BPO is necessary to cover the services for the latest prosecutor to join the city attorney's office. In the discussion action items, Council voted to draft a letter of support to the Secretary of Transportation to add additional express lanes on the 105 freeway. Then, Council voted to incorporate changes to the draft charter and bring it back at a future meeting before pushing out the draft for a public hearing. Well, that's it for the meeting this week. Thank you for joining us for Council Recap. Remember, you can always watch City Council meetings in their entirety by going to www.youtube.com and searching Hawthorne Community Television. Stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you next time.